Mike started with a joke, so I'm going to as well. This is attributed, you know, attributions aren't always accurate, but this is attributed to a bathroom stall. <laughs> where supposedly it was written, God is dead, Nietzsche. Nietzsche is dead, God. <laughs> about 
Jesus, of course, just his minister. He's talking about Jesus, and he wasn't really good at his children's illustrations. Um, but one day he was, he'd been told, you know, they've got to do something different. So he decided to use some metaphors and make a parable sort of thing. And so he started off, he was really excited to do this because he knew this was going to win the kids over. So he said, kids, does anybody know what small and gray and has a bushy tail and lives in the trees? And this one kid who had been there for a while said, I don't know, it's probably Jesus. <laughs>
knowing full well that we will be heard and honored, no matter what it is we offer. That unlike the dogmatic folks on one side or the other side, we want to hear and we want to be changed by what we hear. Deepen, expand. I hope this conversation happens in the social hall. I hope this conversation happens in the covenant groups. I hope this conversation happens at the beginning of meetings when we are just sort of gathering around and not everybody's there yet and you're waiting for somebody to talk about it. What do you believe? And the most important thing we can say to each other is not, this is what I believe, but this is what it means to me to believe this. There's a phrase that has been attributed to just about every wise person out there. I'm really <coughs> hoping that at some point after I'm gone, somebody's going to say, you know, Eric Wicksburg said this. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this God you don't believe in. I probably don't believe in that God. It was my clinical pastoral education supervisor who hired that first problem. You don't believe in God? Tell me about the God you don't believe in. I may not believe in that God either. You do believe in God. Tell me about the God you believe in. I'm curious. This world is astonishingly wonderful and worrisome and beautiful. And no one of us can see the whole. It takes all of us and more. All those who've come before and written those poems that became prose, and all those coming after us who will still be singing songs, all of us, to make any kind of sense of this. Let's not get hung up on words and stop at the first word. Let's listen to the whole thing and see what's actually being said. And then decide if we're being offended or if we're being expensive. I hope this conversation begins. Yeah.